can see there, the medic is actually healing the guy. Commander, the Dominion is attacking the rebel base to the southwest. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tigers. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Damn straight, they're extra units. The doctor is in. Well, you guys sure are a welcome sight. But we're with you. Just tell us where you want us. Welcome aboard, boys. I'm on it. First of all, Rainer's the man. It's Rainer's boys. Dominion can go to hell. I like these guys already. Been waiting on you. Oh, Jesus, I forgot. The Dominion will actually attack this base. So you should probably protect it with something. Like leave a couple marines here, maybe a medic. You got it. That's I got an achievement. Sweet. I don't. Click all mineral and gas pellet pick. I never got that. Hmm. Oh, on normal mission. When I first played through this, I played through it on casual because I had played StarCraft in ages. We'll leave those guys there to protect. Nope, don't need that. Oh, you can also do this. Uh, you can zoom in on your troops. Oh. All right, let's move out and take it to. We've got to clear this area. You want a piece of me, boy? If you if you highlight if you highlight biological troops like this, go in and press slash dance. The ones with it with an uh, uh, equivocal emotion will actually dance, as well as they will cheer. Uh, most biological units do actually have that, uh, except some of the ones you get uniquely in the campaign. And um, oh, I need to go around right this way, and we'll leave these guys here. This better be good. Actually, I have an idea. Let's bring over an SCV. Big job, huh? Have him build them a wall out of these. Yeah. Th this is just so I don't have to ever, ever, ever worry about these guys. I'm going. And yeah, they'll be fine. Numbers, and if I need units, I can just lower the supply depots. That's what supply depots are really good for, especially now in StarCraft Two. Guys, are that away? This better be good. Uh, you can make uh, walls out of supply depots, and you can raise and lower individual ones, so you can make, like, gates. Warning. Dominion Hellions approaching. Standing by. You gonna get the orders? Roger that. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Between your boys and my skills, we are gonna go a long way together. You aren't even here, Tychus. So shut your face. Pretty explosion. By the number. Armed and ready. So we're just about done here.
Might as well bring in these guys, you know, make it go a little bit faster. Yay! Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's reel that sucker in and get out of here. Yay! Killing things. <laughs> Yay, killing things. Wait a minute. I thought it was going to be a cutscene. So now we're back here and we have all these, uh, all, all new things. Oh, we can click on this now. Oh, man. Didn't the magistrate here know he was hiring an arch criminal as his marshal? He was counting on it. Guess my tough guy reputation kept things nice and quiet around here. All the time I wore that badge, I never had to shoot anybody. Well, where's the fun in that? Thanks for staying with us. Let's go now to Kate Lockwell with an update on Jim Rayner's violent uprising. Thanks, Donnie. Rayner's clearly widening his list of targets. He's attacked a Dominion archaeological dig and possibly seized a dangerous alien artifact. Emperor Mansk spoke on this subject earlier today. There's no telling what kind of havoc these supposedly innocuous relics might wreak upon our worlds. Anyone found in possession of these items will be dealt with to the fullest extent of the law. Look on the bright side, partner. You're a wanted man either way. Thanks, Tigus. Shocking, Kate. I imagine civilian casualties were high as a result of Rayner's terrorist actions. Actually, the only civilian deaths appear to be collateral damage from overzealous Dominion security forces. Uh, thanks, Kate. You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, killing women and children on Marsara. Dear sweet God. <laughs> what was it like, Jimmy? Fighting them Zerg. All the scrapes we were in back in the day, all the narrow escapes, none of it compares to how terrible they are, Tychus. You don't know what real fear is. Until you got a thousand of these sons of bitches barreling down on you. So I don't know if you noticed, but uh, the jukebox is working now. I think it's Sweet Home of Alabama playing. Free birds on here, by the way. Oh, I may have just broken the jukebox. This is my favorite song. Anyway, so who's your mysterious buyer, Tychus? Who are we supposed to hand this artifact over to? A bunch of eggheads I ran into called the Mobius Foundation. Mobius? They're a legitimate research group. Why the hell are they talking to you? Soon as your boy Mansk made it illegal to trade in alien goods, 
they got desperate. And you know me, Jimmy. I am a great patron of the sciences. I got the I have to say, Jimmy, you turned into a real impressive fighter. If I was old Mainsk, I'd be running scared from you, too. You really mean that, Takis? Nah, I was just kidding. <laughs> Oh, there's one more. What's I'm this? just listening to the song. I heard them Zerg got burned out by them creepy Protoss a few years back. It's been four years and they're still finding burrowed dens out in the wastelands. Well, a trophy like that's gotta fetch a good price on a black market. Up for some hunting, partner? Knock yourself out, Tychus. <laughs> Me? I've hunted enough Zerg for two lifetimes. <laughs> one ugly mother. It's like three hillbillies and then bam, big ass suit of armor behind him. It's like sup. <laughs> Hi, Chilisk Derby, first place, baby. With the artifact secure, you need to wait for transport at Backwater Station before you can leave Marsara. Transportation is on the way. Caution is advised. Dominion security forces may succeed in tracking the artifact to the station. Oh, Jesus, I remember this. I remember this mission. I've got transport coming to pick us up. All we gotta do is sit tight. Don't sound too hard. I figure we earned ourselves a little R and R. Commander, I'm detecting a massive concentration of Zerg biosignatures landing at the abandoned dig site. Should have known it. Damn it, Tigers. I swear, man, I didn't know nothing about no Zerg. Given their current course, the Zerg will overrun this location within the hour. Yeah. We gotta hold out long enough for extraction. If we man the bunkers and hold those two bridges as long as we can, we just might stand a chance. <laughs> We're gonna have a real fight on our hands here. Anyone remember, um, I might have gotten in plenty of hold ads before. Not against the Zerg, you ain't. Uh, there's a mission in StarCraft 1. I don't remember if I got to it or not in my playthrough. I don't even know if you can consider it that. But, there's a mission where you have to hold out for 30 minutes. Homage much? I mean, it's against the Zerg. It's the exact same thing, basically. Just, I think this is a little bit easier. And it looks much nicer, as well. <laughs> Ugh. Shotgun. Zerg. <laughs> and you. Bad news. Been waiting. So the first thing you want to do, get your troops in these bunkers. I'm aware those bunkers are empty, but those bunkers should actually stay empty until you need them. When when you need that bunker, then you move your troops back and you, you know, you have a fallback line, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I don't care about any of this. Oh, no, 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 you guys stay. Actually, you guys get behind the bunker. And there's the artifact. Flatbed truck, transport for the artifact piece. SCV ready. Medics are going to be a lot less useful in this because you have bunkers now. Bunkers are going to help you hold out uh, much more than you would ordinarily. Yeah, yeah. And I believe... Uh, yes, I remember this. Okay, yes, I remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Or what I'm going to be doing here. So you actually have to hold out for 20 minutes. 20 minutes here. And here comes the first wave of the Zerg. Armed and ready. Here they come. Lock and load. So. 
I don't know who that was. I don't think that was Tychus. I think it was just a random marine. First wave is just Zerglings. Um, you should easily be able to hold that. Add on complete. Uh, this is a reactor. This lets you train two units at once like this and up to eight total. So, uh, let's see. Need to keep working on SCVs. Get some SCVs repairing those bunkers. I know, I know. Oh, they actually gave me an SCV. Where the hell did he come from? Whatever, then I only need one. However, I do need to build bunkers. I need to build a new bunker. To anyone hearing this message, we're pinned down near Backwater Station. Please assist. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready for. That's why I was building units. Um, this will pop up throughout the level, and you can go and do this. You'll get money, uh, units, all the good stuff. That's why I was making some extra units here. And we're going to take these guys, and we're going to go get those guys. So everyone going to need everyone to group up first. Insufficient Vespine gas. Now we're gonna go get those guys. There are Zerg burrowed underneath the ground, because that's what Zerg do. And the best time to get these guys is in between waves, of course. Otherwise, you know, you get killed on your way out. Got it. <sighs> Thought we were gunners there. It's an excellent way to get a little bit of extra money and a little bit of extra troops while you're doing this. He's under attack. Oh my. I feel you. Multiple air bogeys detected. ETA, right the hell now. Well, butter my yep. biscuit. That's what these are for. This better be good. Latin Marines. Um, these guys are on auto repair, so they should go around and repair automatically. And you want to have, I, I, or at least what I do, is I always have one SCV just sitting behind each bunker. It'll make you have to build more SCVs, but it'll work out in the long run for you. The doctor is in. But you will have to make those runs out to get units every once in a while, so make sure you have at least some marines and medics ready to go, you know. Just in the event you actually need to send someone out. And keep an eye on your bunkers. You want to, you want to have enough units to hold out, you want to have, you know, uh, enough health on the bunker so they don't go down real quick. Like, uh, I really, really need more SCVs. Um, What's going on? I shouldn't even yeah. care about gas right now, I should just care about minerals. Uh, I'm also going to cancel these guys just to get two extra SCVs. And now, as there's no, you can't build a reactor on a command center, so you, you can't get two SCVs at once, because that would be incredibly overpowered. However, you do get an extra ability for the command center a little bit later, that we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, tech labs uh, further on will actually contain upgrades for um, uh, the barracks. One strategy I recommend you invest into relatively early on, but uh, before you lose these lines, because you will lose these lines eventually, is to build um, SCVs up here. You know what? Just make them stop saying that they're empty. Build uh, supply depots along that line. Oh, so, okay, you two stay in there, because I'm sick of those dual tips popping up. Alright, we're going to go get those guys as soon as we uh, do that, and I believe, yeah, three marines and a medic, as well as more as well as well more resources. The more resources will always come in handy. Always. You can never have too many resources. By 
As soon as these guys are done, we'll head out. Now you can wall these off, and I suggest you do as well. Um, to create, you know, a, a for, sort, sort of a, a massive bunker out of this entire base. And uh, I suggest you do that as well. And I suggest you get at least two SCVs on these, because they will repair very quickly if you do. There's an upgrade later on that lets you uh, do that even better as well. We'll, well. Again, we'll get into that later. Right now, we just need to rescue these guys. I think there's another wave of Zerglings right here. Yep, right there. Man, are you a sight for Zora? Hold up, we're coming with you. Affirmative. Of course. You got it. I think even if you actually explore this entire map, I don't think you can actually get the ones until... I don't think you can actually bring in the other rebels until they show up on your map. So, there's no not a huge point in going after them right now. Because I vaguely know where they are, so... Yep. What's going on? You're the boss. Now I'm curious, real quick. Just try and go through there. I want to see if you can. You can, so that's a problem. Okay, we need to cancel both of those. In the rear. Go ahead. Good job. I'm going. Nope, that's wrong too. Damn it. That's better. Can't get through that. Nope, can't get through that. Okay, good. That will keep Zerglings from entirely surrounding your um, bunkers. And you can, again, lower it to get your units in and out, so that's really good. And you can raise it up again so that they can't get in. That is a really decent strategy. Um, uh, and again, I suggest you have at least three SCVs down here, uh, total. Um, and because they have auto repair and they can't go in there anymore, they should be relatively safe, except against Hydralisks. So... Should be a little bit safer now. So I'm gonna bring this guy over here. They shouldn't be. Oh, it was a mutalisk. That's why. Uh, mutalisks. Uh, they have an attack that bounces. So it, I believe, in, at least in Brew War, uh, in Starcraft One, it bounced up to three times. So a little bit dangerous. But not a huge overall problem, as long as you, um, maintain, you know, uh, repairing or, you know, healing for your troops, you should be fine. Uh, once this, fin once this one finishes and that one finishes, I'm gonna actually lower these, uh, and I'm gonna keep them lowered until I need to raise them, so if I need to fall back... Keep at it, boys. The ride's on its way. Which I imagine I will at some point need to fall back. Uh, I'm What's going, going to. Uh, I can't build here. I'll pull back all my units and then raise the bunkers uh, or the supply depots up above them or behind them. Been waiting on you. And you can see, actually, if you look, this purple stuff. This is actually the Zerg base. You can actually attack back if you want. You can actually push back and attack. I don't really suggest that you do because there's not a huge benefit to doing that. Um, because the Zerg just spawn on the side of the map and just run up on you, anyway. And as you can see, that wall on actually helps it, because normally the Zerglings would come, like, all the way up, up to around here. Trust me, we can hear you. Um, you're very yelling in my ear. Um, this is the last group, so I'm gonna go grab them. Bring my SCV over here. If you don't wall off like that, uh, Zerglings, 
the sm small fast ones will surround your bunker almost entirely and do massive amounts of damage to it because they're all attacking at once. But with this, they can only uh, stack up to like four on there. Everyone else will just stack on top of each other so they won't actually be able to attack him. And you'll be able to just completely decimate them. I believe there's one right here. Yeah, right there. And you can see there is actually creep right down there as well. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Raider. Who wants some? I'm actually gonna go down here real quick just to look. Just to see. Oh, there's minerals down here. Okay, see. That's something you might want. You might want all the minerals, because uh, I bet there's probably even more minerals as you go further in. And whatnot. But if you've got a if you've got a decent economy like what I've got going on here, you're not gonna need that much money. Ever. And I should probably disengage here. Let's get the hell out of here. Upgrade complete. That's fine. Um, basically, I need to put him back on the middle line. Hmm. We should be good here. For at least a little while, at least. And since I've got ridiculous amounts of money, I'm actually going to increase my um, protection, you might say, here a little bit. I'm going to build another one of these here and one here, just because that'll help against Mutalisks in the long run. And the SCVs down here, actually no, I'm going to bring in one SCV down from up here, from the mineral line. And I'm gonna move all of these guys. All of one. I'm gonna move them up here. Base is under attack. And I'm gonna bring him down, and I'm gonna make a second line, just in case we actually lose the line. Hold on, cancel that. One that is close to the building as possible, so that no thing can get around it. Yo. I'm going. I don't know exactly why I'm doing this, I'm just doing it because I can. Hmm, that's an idea. Uh -huh. yep. Anyway, once that's fully complete, I'll probably stack Marines in it and whatnot. And um, because I do have such a ridiculous amount of money, hold out just a little longer. We'll be getting out of here soon. And uh, just bring out some more troops. And I still have a ridiculous amount of money, so I'm just gonna stack this to the roof, basically. And put him back on the mineral line. Put him back on the mineral line. The doctor is in. Okay, good. I should only ever have six idle SUVs. Uh, two. I'm actually going to make them come back a little bit just so they don't get in that SUV's way. And one. Or wait, shift one. That's weird. They should be in control group one now. The oh, is in. I put them in control route two. Oops. Base is under attack. Uh, 